Okie dokie, we got day two of my 30 day world. How safe is it to travel in your world? How safe is it to travel in my universe? Well, there's travel and there's travel. And my rebuttal to some degree is how safe is modern technology in today's world? How safe is it to fly, to drive? Percentages, argumentatively, is quite safe. And yet, so, in 8,000 odd years, humanity has mastered the ability to travel through space. The system is based off of a jump drive, which for all intents and purposes, bends space and allows you to bre breach across that gap. It's like taking two sides of a piece of paper and folding them against each other. You know, the fastest way to get from point A to point B is to literally bring point A and point B together. So, the technology is millennia old at this point. Six odd thousand, seven odd thousand years of, of technology has made it quite safe, quite usable, quite feasible. And uh, yet, if your Navi computer suffers some damage or somebody's hacked into it and put a virus or some kind of uh, uh, attackware in it, set off to set to go off at a certain point or time or under certain conditions then obviously things can go south the game mechanics basically stipulates that you roll a d100 and uh a d10 and the d10 allows you to determine the direction that your misjump occurred and the D100 gives you how many light years your ship has skipped over the boundary, so to speak. And uh, from that angle, we have, uh, at that point, you would remerge in uh, normal space and encounter whatever the encounter role for entering unexplored space would be. So if you come out in the middle of a black hole or end of space that's dominated by a nebula, you take your chances with the percentages. Black holes are pretty much 100%. They're very, you know, if you come into an adjacent system, you have a chance of getting out. If you come into the actual core of it, you're done. Simple as that. The entire ship and everything on it is gone. So, but the odds and loss of percentages are extremely rare that that's going to occur. More likely to see that is if a ship suffers damage during combat and makes an emergency jump or makes what we call a blind jump. This is where we engage the jump drive without the navigation computations required to make it safe. And once again, you're back into the percentages club. What's up? Hello. Sorry, my staff didn't tell me you're coming. Here's some oh, Dutch letters for right your work. On. Thank you very Otherwise, much. Otherwise, I would have removed all this stuff. Oh, that's fine. I didn't put the chairs back, but, oh, I, don't did, worry about but it. I got the matting back okay. and stuff. Sorry about that. Oh, Thank hey. You. Wow, you sent your hair. I'll give you that red pink copy. We Normally, I drop them off if there's somebody here. Otherwise, they'll, they'll still mail you an invoice with yeah. all the paperwork on it. But there you go. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Now there is a there is one of the advantages to the fat man's job. You can't see is these nice beautiful Dutch letters that this individual gave me. I just finished up in a place called the Strudel House, a cafe, bakery, uh, wine cellar, kind of an odd little place down on South Indianola before you get to the downtown area of Des Moines. So, anyway, jumping through space. Uh, is fairly fairly safe unless under combat conditions or stressful conditions moving through normal space still has its hazards once again you have a slim chance of coming out of jump and running into an asteroid or a meteor storm or another ship but it's rare and if you're moving from point a to point b within a solar system you have plenty of opportunities to maneuver around those objects and bodies unless you're in exploration mode more or less of an unexplored system 
Now what this means by unexplored is if it's a system you don't have 100% explored and you move into a 10% slice of it that you have yet to explore, you take your chances on whatever's there. This is one of the reasons it's highly recommended that you use cheap and, and uh, 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 smaller vessels such as scout ships and if possible shuttles to explore a star system uh, because you just never know what you're going to encounter. You're obviously not going to encounter, uh, uh, if you already entered a solar system, a star system, you're not going to encounter something like a black hole or a nebula because that's already been predetermined. But within the system, there's planets, there's asteroid belts, there's, there's derelicts, there's all kinds of things that you could potentially bounce off of and uh, maybe or maybe not bounce off of depending on your abilities and your crew's abilities and or uh, the ship's uh, ability to deflect the damage. But that would suggest that a bigger ship would be better, but not necessarily because we have a set of a sliding a formula for that. So the bigger the ship, the bigger the chance of doing damage, more damage can be done. So if you run, a, if a big ship sails into an asteroid belt, it's more likely to hit numerous asteroids as opposed to the one. So there you have that. Once again, how safe is travel in my my campaign world and then there's travel on a given surface and we have once again the same kind of scenarios if you're going through a well-established well-traveled area the chances of encountering a problem are slim to none no different than driving from your from your home to your work uh, you're driving through the neighborhood. There's always a slim chance that some nut job's going to bounce off your car or try to run you down, but the odds are in your favor that's not going to occur. If you're moving through an unexplored portion of the planet or a very rough wilderness, you have to take into account A, the unexplored part, which might encounter problems, or B, the rough, undeveloped part of the planet, nature of the of terrain that you're moving through, and uh, then we have a handful of rules for, or, or uh, uh, modifiers for train issues when you're doing land movement, the way it is. So there's always chances of damage, there's always chances of something going south, and usually not going to happen, but it can. Pretty much the answer to that question, right? Moving on.